A special uh, trophy here in the house at WOSN as the Lima Central Catholic Thunderbirds girls golf team pulls off the three-peat. Uh, joining us here, Aaron Mulcahy, Bridget Mulcahy, Mary Kelly Mulcahy. Ladies, uh, congratulations on the title. Thank you. Thank you. We'll have your teammates join us here in uh, just a few as well. But uh, what's this been like for you guys? I mean, the family blood mm -hmm. runs deep with golf, with dad being the pro at Shawnee Country Club, and obviously you three uh, playing all of your wives, but uh, the two twins, the sisters, the seniors here. Um, this is obviously a special way to end your senior season in high school careers, isn't it? Oh yeah, um, I think this is like the best way. You can't you can't ask for anything more than winning your third state championship, and uh, we're just looking forward to like all the opportunities that next year we bring. But we're really just taking in all the moments that we have right now. Mary. Same. I think that, I mean, everyone wants to win state, and we've done it three times, and going out with our third is just the best feeling that we could have right now. Younger sister Bridget, <laughs> you're two for two. Yes. How does this get pulled off? They, don't even, they didn't go two for two until their junior, senior year. You do it freshman, sophomore year. What gives? I don't know, honestly. Um, <laughs> I was lucky to have them on my team. They obviously help, but no, it's really cool. Um, What's, what's the dynamic like from a competitive atmosphere between the three of you? Um, because I know MK and Aaron, you guys were breaking school records left and right this year with the lowest round. I mean, was there a lot of trash talk at home over dinner and <laughs> mom and dad get involved and then Bridget says, well, I'm coming, I'm gonna break yeah. all your records anyways. <laughs> there actually was. There yeah. are a few comments that caused a few um, arguments, some big, some small, <laughs> but we always just like to uh, fuel each other and I definitely came at Mary Kelly a lot, yeah. and also Bridget, but Mary Kelly and I came at each other, and even just practicing, like, we would say, like, just dumb stuff to each other, <laughs> <laughs> just to get under each other's skin, so, yeah. No, no snaps or DMs from across the house or anything <laughs> like that at each other, that are just a needle a little bit more? Maybe a little, maybe a little. There were definitely a few photos taken with, like, trophies that, she was first place, I was second, like, oh yeah, take this. <laughs> and how do you feel, Bridget, about all this? I mean, you're the younger sister, you're kind of just stuck out on an island for compared to the two at that point when they're breaking the records. Yeah, you know, it's fun to watch them go at each other, but when I get close to Aaron sometimes, or in Mary Kelly, it, it's fun to kind of rub it in. Yeah. <laughs> Give me, uh, describe the feeling of sinking your final putt on, on 18. You guys... 53 strokes. I mean, come on. I mean, the competition was over <laughs> yeah. when you teed off yeah. on Friday morning. Let's be real. But, you know, you finish 53, you know, win by 53, but that final putt on 18 down at Ohio State. What was that like? I mean, it was really crazy. I, like the whole round, I was like, this is my last round as a high schooler. This is my last round at State. It was all kind of coming at me in 18. Actually, I made a birdie on 18. I sunk like a 20-foot putt for birdie, and it was just a perfect way to end my high school career, and I had not made a putt that whole round. So making that last one was just kind of like a deep breath, and I obviously knew we had won, and it was just like a really good feeling that we had done it, and I birdied my last hole, so that was a good feeling. Eric? Um, yeah, I was just... When I watched her make the putt, she was the last person to come in, so um, it was like I was really happy for her, but when I just I had a little tap in for par on that hole, and it was finally just like all the weight was just lifted off my shoulders for my high school career, but also it was bittersweet because I was happy we won, but I was sad that, not sad, I was just a little... Um, yeah, I was a little sad that we are moving on to like a new thing and we've done so much together as a team. That was the last time I was going to walk off the course with all five of us playing together. So, yeah, it was just bittersweet. With, and that leads me right into my next question about, you know, the collective team effort. Um, you two see the most shine, obviously, because you've been so, you've played so well, you've got the opportunity to go play in college. But the other three girls around you, what has that been like? you know, the last two, three, four years that they've been with you? Uh, really special. I've, like, something that I'll tell everyone, like, how are you guys so good? Like, what, what, it, what does it take? And, like, literally every day, every day in the summer, 
Mary Kelly and I would pull into the course and we'd see Emma's car there, Bridget's car there. We'd drive by swing right range, see Carly <laughs> hitting balls. So like literally every day we were practicing, practicing together or apart. So I think just that whole team effort of all of us were trying our hardest and we knew that each one of us was going to put out all like our best effort that really like helps the team. MK? Yeah, I think that a lot of people look at me and Aaron and I kind of feel bad sometimes because I know how how hard the rest of our team works and I don't like they don't get as much credit as us. They they get a little credit, mm -hmm. but I think that people don't realize that a golf team isn't just one person. It's the whole team and everyone on our team really works hard and they've put a lot of effort into their golf game to improve and it makes me really proud to be on this team. Bridget, as the young pup of the group, as a <laughs> sophomore, um, you know, you've, you've been around these other four ladies, obviously you, your two sisters. What's it meant to you to have this group of players and, of course, Coach Ryan as well? Yeah, it's really fun. You know, we all get along really well. And I know some people say that and, you know, they just say it, but we really do. Um, we always just play together and we can always count on each other to put out our best effort. And even if one person has a bad day, we can always count on someone else to bring them up and have a good score that day. Okay. Let's, uh, let's transi transition now. We're looking at 2021 for you two. And uh, you recently made the decision to go to Finley. Um, wh why Finley and um, what stood out? Um, you know, is starting close to home as opposed to maybe going down south where the weather's warm, where you could play golf every single day if you want to. Yeah. Well, we had a lot of different opportunities and everything, but I think the opportunity, I guess, at Finley was just something that we couldn't pass up. They're a really good program, and the coach wanted us. The coach was real. We really like the coach. We like the team, and we also have a friend who's on the team at Finley right now, and she kept talking to us. She's like, why don't you guys come down and visit? And it felt good to be wanted. Mm -hmm. And um, ultimately, I think we visited there and we were like, okay, I think that's where we want to go. So it wasn't an easy decision, but I'm glad that's what we chose. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Finley's a good team. And um, I'm not trying to sound like arrogant, but we're used to winning. Right. And we want to go to a program that's like also used to winning. And they compete for Division Two national championships every year, so I think going to a team that has a like a good shot at winning, and we want to contribute right away. The the players that they've got are, you know, on the men's and women's side are both extremely top notch. So mm -hmm. obviously, that had to be something that played into your factor too. But also, I would think, um, and you two can talk about this more than I can. Obviously, playing on the men's side of Lima Junior Golf really really honed your mm -hmm. game in for that collegiate level. Was that kind of in mind when you guys started doing that a couple of years ago? Yeah, when we decided to do that, well, I guess we were thinking about high school then, but playing those longer courses, just I think it's it makes a big difference. Going into high school golf, especially when you play super short courses, and I think this year really proved me and Aaron, both of our scores got a lot lower, and obviously in college we're going to play courses that are like, the men's mm -hmm. tees. So I think that just prepared us even more for that. And I'm excited for it. What are you guys going to study? <laughs> um, even if you're undecided, <laughs> that's fine. That's, there's no, wish, there's no yeah, problem. Yeah, I'm undecided right now, but maybe towards like the finance and like business marketing side. Gotcha. No idea. <laughs> Nothing wrong with that whatsoever. No. So little sister, they've set the bar, haven't they? Yes. Is, it, is, is, is golf something that you would like to potentially pursue at the collegiate level um, after you're done with high school? Or is that something that's a little too further down the road for you right um, now to even think about? Yeah, I mean, I've thought about it a little bit, but it is still kind of far away for me. So I don't know. Maybe. <laughs> All right. Let's say we got a basketball in here right now. Mm -hmm. You three play basketball for LCC as well. Um, three on, let's say three on, no, you know what? Let's go one on one. Okay. Who, who's the first matchup? Who's calling out who first? Okay. It's probably me and Bridget mm -hmm. first. Okay. Yep. Me and Bridget. Who wins? Me. No. I'll win. I'll win, but it's, it's going to be close 
I'm, she's gonna rough you up, isn't yeah, she? Yeah, she's rough. She, Bridget's a strong player. Yes. Bridget's a strong player, but I'm a little quicker than she is, so I can get around. But Bridget's also a good shooter. So, but I win nine out of ten times. Okay. So now you got MK. <laughs> oh, now I got that? MK. Uh, Mary Kelly. She knows we've been defending each other for our whole lives. Right. She knows all my tricks, all my moves. But it's close. But I think I win. Oh, I don't know about that. Three three point contest between the oh, three of you. Oh, no, me. No, me. <laughs> it's Mary Kelly. <laughs> Maybe. Yes. Wow. Yes. It's Mary Kelly. <laughs> so obviously you have basketball now in the future starting up this week, if I remember right, as we uh, tape this here for uh, online here at WOSN. But uh, also, you know, you get that winter season. You'll pick up the golf clubs again at some point, won't you? Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Maybe within the next few weeks. Mm -hmm. I definitely want to take a little break. Um, just let my body rest a little bit because we've been on the go for like eight months so mm -hmm. now. But, yeah, it's definitely always I'm thinking about it. Um, just preparing for next year, seeing what I can do better. Emma Mayers, Carly Van Meter, Coach Dan Reineke joining us here as well. And uh, ladies, this has been a lot of fun, hasn't it? Yeah, yeah most definitely. Um, just talk about the ride coach the last three years. Um, with all, I mean, you've had these three, or these two ladies for, for three years, and obviously you had Aaron and Mary Kelly for four, and um, Bridget the last two. This has been very special, not just for you, but for Lima Central Catholic, hasn't it? Yes, it has. To, to uh, a small school to win three championships is difficult, but to win three in a row is amazing. And uh, Emma was a part of all three of those yeah. uh, also. So, and uh, a lot of people forget that the, the twins were part of the team that came in third the first year when they were freshmen. Right. So, uh, you know, by the time they teed off on uh, the last time, they'd already had uh, 10 rounds under their belt. So uh, experience was great for us. Absolutely. What's, what's it mean to you as a coach to, you know, to get this opportunity? You know, one, some coaches dream of it just to get it one. Exactly. You've, got, you've gotten four years, but you've come home with the big gold trophy, three. Yes. Uh, listen, once was amazing. Second, uh, unbelievable. And three, what can you say? I mean, it just, it doesn't happen. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, it's only happened, I think, twice in the state of Ohio for girls, and both of those were Division I big schools that were able to do that. So uh, for these young ladies to do something like this is absolutely amazing. Cupboard's not empty either, is it? These two return. You got Bridget returning. And we still have two uh, that, that are good enough to be on this team, but there are people there also right in front of them. So, yeah, the, the cupboard's not bare. How do, you, how do you challenge these girls? How do you challenge them in practice? I think they challenge themselves. Um, they, they work hard. Uh, they're very hard workers. They're, they're at practice all the time. Not only when we have a formal practice, but as you heard, um, they're out there practicing themselves and uh, they're, they're playing. Um, it's not hard to challenge them. They're, they're self-starters. Emma, Carly, we'll come to you now and just, just talk about this run of this year. Um, you know, and it wasn't just close matches. You guys were runaway dominant yeah. against everybody. It didn't matter who you're playing, <laughs> D1, D2, D3, didn't matter. It was who's next. I mean, you guys were absolutely incredible. What was that run like for you guys? I mean, it's kind of unbelievable to say again, like, with the help of the twins and Bridget and Carly, I mean, it's just an amazing experience to be dominant overall. And I mean, really can't say anything else about it. To have this run with this team, it was just so amazing. Like coming into my freshman year, I didn't even know if I was gonna play golf. And then to have it turn out where I've been part of two championships, it's just crazy. Um, I, asked, I asked the girls um, earlier, and I'm gonna ask you guys as well, what was it like on 18 for you guys you know they each talked about their their experiences but what was it like for you guys you know you've got things in the bag but you know <laughs> the culmination of all that work and the un and truth be told the uncertainty of whether or not you guys would even get to play this year uh, because of covid um to to wrap it up in columbus on the course there on the great course and have the and have that trophy come home to cable road stepping up to the 18th tee i it just it it's so amazing knowing that you're already there and you, this is your last round of the year from practicing for so long and then coming to this moment where you're like, oh, I'm not going to think about this for forever and then have such amazing thing happen. Um, for me, just standing on that tee, like 
I was just thinking don't mess up, which <laughs> I always do that. But, I mean, I knew I would do better than the hole before that. So, for me, it was just the feeling of ending my season on that hole. I knew that I could have a good hole to end my season, and that would just make it. How do, how do you how do you guys and speak you know you know from a team perspective? How do you push each other? I mean, you're not you're not always playing with each other on the course. You're spread out, but you know somebody needs you know just a little bit of motivation out there, or maybe in practice having a bad round, or you know you get word that one of the girls you know maybe didn't have a good front nine. How do you guys you know po- how do you guys you know reinforce that positivity and domination, if you will, that you guys have brought this year? Well, I think we all push each other by being very close to each other. I mean, Mary Kelly and Aaron are very close to each other in score. And me and Bridget and Carly are always very close mm-hmm. in score. So if one person has a bad round, the other person is most likely going to make up for them. So, I mean, I guess we push each other in having close scores, but we also have less worriness, I guess, by mm-hmm. making up for each other. Well, with this team being so close, like Emma had said, we – aren't afraid to tell each other how it is. And like, if someone's struggling maybe, then we'll try and help them. But we all know that someone's gonna be there to back you up if you're struggling. Coach, this, this group always has a competitive fire, don't they? Yes, they do. And, and like the, she, Carly put it very well, they, they really care about what the other ones are doing. And as Emma said, if someone falters, someone's there to pick them up. So, great team. What's, what's next for, for you guys? I mean, do you, do you kind of do like, like the Twins and Bridget? You take a little bit of a break um, from golf right now and, you know, focus on a winter sport, focus on schoolwork, because, you, you know, you still are in school, obviously. Um, or do you just, you know, say the heck with it and go out and go to the driving range tonight? No, <laughs> I definitely take a break. The day after state, my dad asked me, he was like, do you want to go play 18 with me? I'm like, no, I don't. I really don't. <laughs> but um, <laughs> you just need to take a break because since you do it so consistently for yeah. so long, it's to do it consistently for even longer would be exhausting. So I think we all need a little bit of a break. Yeah, I take a break definitely from golf because then I go straight into basketball. And from there, I don't really have a break either because then it's softball, then golf. So just to have a whole nother like sports season to be away from golf is a break as it is. And sometimes, honestly, I miss golf while I'm in like basketball or softball. I just wish it's golf season. <laughs> um, as far as next year, I asked, asked the twins this because they're going to be at the collegiate level. You guys are going to be still in high school. And guess what? That bullseye just got a lot bigger, didn't it? <laughs> yeah, most definitely. No, I think... I think we can have a good run at it again. I feel like if we practice as we do and have that same fire within each other, then I feel like we'll do good again. I definitely think, like Emma said, if we both like try and push ourselves and the rest of the team, we could definitely get to state. We may not place first, but we definitely have a chance to place first. That target's awful big, isn't it, Coach? But it's sure a lot is. of fun to have, isn't it? It's, it's better than not having it, that's for sure. And I believe these girls have a great shot at it. And I, the fact that they do, too, tells you what they think about their golf games. Congratulations, ladies. Thank, Thank you. you.